At some stage over the passing of the centuries, we've lost a lot of ancient knowledge. Some people think there must have been lost civilizations who once walked the face of the earth, and all that remains of them now are their artifacts, which we are unable to understand or explain. Others feel that we simply aren't as spiritually wise or architecturally clever as we used to be, and so we no longer understand the purpose behind what our ancestors did or how they did it. Either way, the planet is covered in stunning mysteries, and here's a whole collection of them for you to gaze upon in wonder. Since 2015, British researchers have been appealing for the help of the public to assist them with a transcription of an ancient code etched into the blade of a sword. So far, nobody's been able to solve the riddle. The sword was found back in 1825, in a river close to Lincoln in England, and dates back to the 13th century. Down the blade is an inscription that's 13 letters long, but makes no sense to anybody who's seen it. Because of the cross-hilt construction of the sword, it's likely that it belonged to a Christian soldier, and based on the style, it might have been made in Germany. The lettering style, however, looks more like Viking than anything from medieval Germany. Whatever the inscription says, it's clearly an important message. The letters are inlaid with gold wire. Adding to the puzzle, the sword bears more than a passing resemblance to those seen in a 14th century illustration of the French invasion of Normandy. Is it French, Viking, or German? And what does it say? Pyramid-like structures can be found in various places on Earth. The most famous set is, of course, in Egypt. But there are also lesser-known pyramids to be found in Romania, and we have no idea what they're doing there. These grassy formations might even look like natural hills at first glance, but they're not. They were put here deliberately around 3,000 years ago. The so-called Pyramids of Sona, which are in the Brazov district, were extensively examined with modern technology at the start of the current century. We didn't get many answers from the research. We've been able to prove that they're geometrically precise, though. They're arranged along two even lines with four pyramids on each side, perhaps connected symbolically to some smaller pyramids a little further away. The largest of them is 30 feet high and might have been a burial chamber, but that's little more than a guess. Perhaps they served some primitive astrological purpose instead? There is an official scientific explanation for the Klerksdorp spheres. It's just that many people don't believe it. Scientists say that they are nothing more than concretions, layers of sedimentary rock pushed and rolled together over millions of years. The fact that they've ended up looking like ancient cricket balls is, according to the experts, just a big coincidence. While we know that rock and volcanic ash can fuse together to make spherical objects, you rarely see them so perfectly formed. Almost all of the Klerksdorp spheres, which come from the mines of South Africa, are perfectly round. There have even been claims that metal has been found inside some of the spheres, which would confirm that they can't have been created by sedimentation. Because the best preserved examples appear to have been polished and cut precisely, it's easy to see why so many people have a hard time believing the official version of events. In the modern age, we're just beginning to understand the potential of exoskeletons for soldiers, by which we mean combat outfits that humans can wear, which would increase their physical strength and protect them from harm. Is it possible that someone else had this idea thousands of years ago, but the exoskeletons weren't made for humans. We ask the question because of these bizarre sculptures of knights that can be found in the Medici chapels of Florence in Italy. Many of the sculptures appear to show tentacle and serpent-like creatures emerging from human armor. One in particular is particularly clear. What is this worm-like being poking out of the top of a suit of armor, and why is it there? Elsewhere, we can see suckers and scales where human limbs should be. Further animal-like features appear in reliefs in and around the sculptures, some of which are wearing helmets. Is this a strange kind of ancient heraldry that we've forgotten the meaning of? Or should we take these sculptures literally? 
what lived inside these medieval exoskeletons. We've already mentioned the pyramids of Egypt, but here's an Egyptian pyramid you probably haven't heard much about before, even though it's older than all the rest. It's the Pyramid of Dozer, and it's the oldest large stone monument in the world. We believe it was built more than four and a half thousand years ago and was made to entomb the remains of the great pharaoh Dozer. The 200-foot-tall pyramid is made of over 11 million square feet of clay and stone, and the design work is generally credited to the legendary Egyptian polymath Imhotep. Nobody had ever built anything like this before, and had it not been built, the Egyptians would probably never have gone on to build the Great Pyramid of Giza. Once upon a time, it was surrounded by a larger walled complex, containing temples and a courtyard. Secrecy was clearly important to Imhotep. There are no less than 13 fake doors to the pyramid's interior located around the perimeter. We may never know what truly lays inside. The Egyptian government doesn't allow anybody to enter. In Sri Lanka, you'll find the Ranmasu Uyana Park, which contains ancient and mysterious royal gardens. The design looks a little otherworldly to modern eyes, but was once apparently typical of pre-Christian culture and design in the area. The 40-acre site was once supplied with water by the nearby artificial reservoir of Tesawiwa, which it released into the neighboring rice fields. It was functional as well as beautiful. The gardens date back roughly 2,300 years, having been built to honor King Tisa, with the ornate pavilions joining them 1,200 years later. What truly baffles scientists about the site is a carving called Sakwala Chakraya, which is complex and indecipherable. Conspiracy theorists like to claim that it was an interface that allowed humans to contact beings from another world. Scientists are understandably reluctant to endorse that view and feel that it may be an early attempt at a world map. Even that would be strange, though. The idea of designing a world map would be almost unthinkable back then. As impressive as the building of the first stone Egyptian pyramid was, it may not have been the first colossal pyramid built by human hands. In fact, it might not even have been close. If recent research is to be believed, there are pyramids in the north of Russia which are twice as old. There are several hills sitting on the Kola Peninsula, which have long been the subject of myth and speculation. The Laps, who are the local indigenous population, have passed down legends about the mystical properties of the hills for generations. Intrigue about the hills intensified after scientist Valerie Demin visited the site in 1997, but suddenly passed away before he could report his findings. Finally, a series of x-rays and other tests were performed at the site in late 2014 by Yuri Kurdinov, who conclusively proved that they were built by humans. They contain cavities and appear to have been made in three phases, with each step increasing their height. What's within the cavities is unknown, but the layout of the mounds may be significant. They correspond to the position of celestial bodies as they would have appeared at the time these pyramids were built, 9,000 years ago. It's not just the pyramids that appear to have replicas in other places. Stonehenge in England isn't as unique as we once thought it was either. We now know that a similar stone circle was built in Stonehenge, and it's finally been revealed after a long drought allowed it to emerge from below the water where it's been for over 5,000 years. There are 144 stone blocks involved in the construction of this circle, many of which are more than six feet tall and may once have been much taller before the water began to weather them. It's likely that the ancient Celts created the stone circle when they lived in this part of Iberia, and it was probably used for sun worship. We stress the word probably, though. We have no way of knowing for sure. Although the engravings on the side of the stones have been almost completely worn away in most cases, some of them have survived well enough for us to see that they represent serpents, which only adds to the mystery. If anybody recognizes this next object, please get in touch with archaeologists in Sampson County, North Carolina, immediately. 
This ancient stone face has totally perplexed experts ever since a farmer found it while plowing his field. Tom Giddens felt his plow hit something in the earth, and when he investigated, he discovered that he'd struck a large, badly weathered face of stone that measures two feet in length and is one and a half feet wide. Local archaeologists have found it very difficult to accurately date the carving as it's made of sandstone, and so weathers very quickly and could therefore be anything from 100 to 1,000 years old and possibly even older. What they have been able to confirm is that they've never seen anything like it in terms of design. It's not consistent with the style of any other historical find in the area. Is this the only known artifact of a long-forgotten race? Could it be the elaborate work of a prankster? Give us your thoughts in the comments. The art of bridge building had to begin somewhere, and to be the best of our knowledge, that somewhere was in the land now known as Iraq. That's where you'll find what's left of Gursu, an ancient Sumerian city that was founded more than 5,000 years ago. Archaeologists have been excavating Gursu for years and in the process have uncovered thousands of tablets containing written records of the history of the area. The tablets pale in comparison to the discovery of Gursu Bridge though. Still clearly visible today, Gursu Bridge was made out of baked brick, is approximately 4,000 years old, and is the oldest known bridge ever found. The structure was first noticed during the 1920s but was interpreted as a dam or a temple, until someone realized an ancient waterway once ran below it, and therefore deduced its real purpose. Sadly, because the importance of the bridge has only been acknowledged quite recently, it's fallen into a state of disrepair. Experts from the British Museum are now active at the site, attempting to repair and preserve it. The pre-Indovari civilization that once lived in Peru is something of an enigma to modern researchers. We've never thought of them as being particularly advanced. They lived on the land approximately 1,500 years ago, but as far as we know, they had no written language. We don't even have any evidence that suggested they ever discovered the wheel. They did, however, leave strange stone blocks like this all over their former territory and we don't know what they were used for. All of them have a circular hole bored through them as if they'd been drilled, but the idea of the Vari having drilling technology is almost inconceivable. The blocks don't intersect or interlock with each other, so they can't have been used in the construction of walls or homes. It's like they're pieces of an enormous jigsaw puzzle, but as we don't have sight of the picture, we have no idea how they're supposed to fit. The Schist Disk, sometimes known as the Sabu Disk, has been considered an unexplained Egyptian artifact ever since it was unearthed in North Saqqara in 1936. The oddly shaped tri-lobed disk has been called everything from a candlestick holder to the driving wheel of an interstellar spacecraft. As it's 5,000 years old, some people think it might prove that the Egyptians invented the wheel a very long time before we currently believe they did. The disc is two feet in diameter and barely one inch thick. It's also made from a very delicate form of rock, which would crack and shatter from one wrong move during the construction phase. Someone took great care in making it, but why? We've never found anything else in Egypt that looks even vaguely like it. We'd love it to be a piece of alien technology, but it could just as easily be an old oil lamp. You can go and check it out at the Cairo Museum if you want to try solving the mystery yourself. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.